Hello everyone, we will continue the topic RFC and in the previous video, we took the requirement based upon that requirement. We are creating a RFC function module. Why RFC function module? So that we can call from the external system and we are taking the external system as another SAP system. So as of now, this is normal function module only. We are going for regular function module only. Now, whenever we will finish with the logic part, then I will convert it to this remote enabled module. So what we will do now, I will write the logic into the source code tag. Now, I will simply take the table VBAK. We will fetch the data from VBAK table and I will pass it to this internal table. You all know your output is a internal table of how many column? Four column. We created a structure of four column. VB, ELN, ER, DAT, ER, ZDT, ER, now. So I will fetch that data and pass to this export parameter. I will go to source code tab and I will write the logic. Select. What is first column? VB, ELN, ER, DAT, ER, ZDT, ER, now. From I will fetch from VBAK table into table. I will pass the name of the internal table, and you all know your output is a internal table itself. Your output parameter in of internal table of four columns. Now I will pass the where condition where VB ELN in. Because you all know your input is a range range. So we need to use in. Now VB ELN in T VB ELN. So how this query will work? Whatever the input you will pass, it will go to VB ELN column of VB AK table. It will fetch the data of these four columns. And data will come into this internal table. And this is our export. Export means output. It means we will get the output from the function module. I will check the syntax. And I will activate this function module. Now, firstly, we will check the output of this function module. As of now, this is a normal function module. It can only only be executed in this system A4H only. Its scope is in this A4H only. I will go for running of this function module. And you can see our input is a range table, range internal table. I will go for contents now. Now, you all know sign has always two values, include or exclude. So, I put I. Suppose I will go for option. Option is a relational operator. So, I will go for between. So, I will go for input suppose 1 to 5. I will check in VBAK table. Do we have an input 1 to 5? You need to check in your table. Please do not give the data which I am giving. Your system might have different data. Okay, 1 to 5 is there. I will go to back button and I will execute. And you can see our output parameter has 5 records and 4 columns. So we be ELN, ER DAT, ER ZET and ER NUM. So our function module is perfectly working fine. And as of now, this is a normal function module. Its scope is in this particular system itself. Now you can call this function module in program also. You all know 
if you are creating a program, you can call this function module through the pattern button. But yes, in this system, I will not create a program because program needs to be in another system, external system, because another system will call this particular function module. So in another system, I will create a program and call this function module. In this system, there is no need for the program. Yes, because anyways, we are not using that particular program. Now, as of now, this is a normal function module. So other system cannot call this particular function module. So it means we need to change the processing type to what? RFC, a remote enabled module. We need to change the processing type. And we already covered, we have two prerequisites. The processing type should be remote enabled and the parameters should be passed by value. So now I will simply go for remote enabled module. And if I will check the syntax, it will simply give me the error. Your parameters should be passed by value. If I will go for OK, suppose if I will activate, I am not going for pass by value as of now. So it will simply, simply give me the error that only parameters with pass by value are allowed. So now I will take, I will go for import pass by value. Now I will go for export pass by value and I will activate. So I fulfilled both the prerequisites. Yes, now RFC, the processing type is remote enabled module and the parameters are pass by value. Now it can be invoked from the another system or we can say external system. External system can be SAP, it can be non-SAP. In our current requirement, I will take it as SAP system. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we did two things. I have written the logic in the source code tab and we have checked the output of the function module. It is perfectly fine. I have not created the program because program needs to be in external system. If you want to create here, it's totally your wish. Anyways, you are not using that. If you are using this function module in the same system also, then you can create a program also. Now, after that, we need to convert this function module to RFC function module. Otherwise, it will not be called from the external system. So I choose the radio button remote enabled module. When you choose, you got the error that parameters should be passed by value. So we simply change the type of the parameters to pass by value. In the next video, I will go to another system of SAP and we will see how we can call this RFC function. So that's it in this video. Thank you.